what up? Let's get to it. So bottom line is, man, Kirk Cousins should not get an extension past next year. Heavy. Yeah, I said it. That's how I feel. Kevin O'Connell, crazy, should not extend Kirk Cousins past next year. Has he earned it? No. You ask me, I'm really over Kirk. No disrespect, man. Wish the best for Kirk. Hope he does good. Believed in Kirk, man. Vouch for him, right? <laughs> Especially during the season. Everyone thought Kirk has changed. Took the mental steps forward, right? He's different mentally. He's a winner. Captain Kirk, he's clutch now. Made a video saying, Kirk, don't revert back. And what did he do in the biggest moment when it mattered most? Game on the line, playoff time, one and done. Win or go home. What did Kirk do? Kirk reverted all the way back. Heavy, do you dig me? Fourth and eight. Everyone wants to talk about what he did during the season. 13-4, eight comebacks, fourth quarter, etc. Cool, fine and dandy. Can't take that away from him, right? But what did he do once again in the big moment when the game was on the line? Fourth and eight, he checked down. Who does that, man? Like, who does that? Besides a guy who you can't depend on to take you to that big game, to take you to that Super Bowl and win. Let's be real. Now, I've said numerous times, Kirk has all the physical attributes to lead the Vikings all the way. Facts. But where was his mental? And he showed once again he is not there, man. It may just not be in him. Not disrespecting Kirk. I want to see Kirk do good. I'm rooting for Kirk. But he felt the team, felt his coach, etc. Man, the fans as well. Fourth and eight. Any other elite quarterback throws it downfield. Past the sticks. A mobile quarterback makes room. Steps to the right. Steps to the left. But you don't throw a check down on fourth down, man, and eight in the playoffs. For me, it's over with Kirk, man. If I was the Vikings, I would try to trade him, get a new guy in, etc. I hope they draft a QB in the draft. Got videos on that coming later. I feel like Kirk showed you who he is once again. That's him, man. I just don't think now, at this moment, after what I saw, he can lead the Vikings to a Super Bowl plus... Everything has to be perfect, man. If the Vikings want to go with Kirk and think he can take them there, the O-line has to be damn near perfect, dog. Heavy. Kirk has no mobility, really. He can't scramble. He's not mobile, right? Can he get out the pocket? Yeah, a few times he can do it here and there. But majority, he's going to get sacked, fumble, etc. Now I just don't feel like Kirk is that guy, man. Once again, vouched for him many times, man. Spoke up good things about Kirk, man. But he reverted back to his old ways, and that's what he will always do. Until proven otherwise, that's who Kirk is and what he will always do. Been doing it his whole career. How can a guy lead you to the Super Bowl and he can't buy any time? On fourth and eight, he throws the check down. Where does your mental go? Where does your mind go in that moment? The biggest game, one of the biggest games of your life, your career. A chance to go to the divisional round and you throw a fourth and eight check down, inexcusable. No excuses, man. You heard Kevin O'Connell say he wanted to put trust in Kirk's hands. Trust his quarterback to make the right decision. He failed KOC. You think KOC isn't heard about that? Doesn't think about that night and day? Like, damn, Kirk. Why didn't you just go for the first down? Throw it up to Jettas. Throw it to Osborne. Looked wide open on the crossing route. Crossed the middle. Kirk proved who he is, man. The $40 million man. Heavy. Damn near highway robbery, man. He's been robbing the Vikings for five years. How much longer, man? If I was the Vikings, no extension. And I'm drafting a quarterback. Might make a trade for Kirk. This offseason, man, get him out of there. Heavy. Period, man. That's my opinion, my take on it. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Now, is it all on Kirk? Hell no. Not saying that. But Kirk is the quarterback. He's supposed to be the leader, man. Ask yourself as a fan. You dig me? 
do you think Kirk can really lead the Vikings all the way after seeing that performance versus the Giants? You know, he had a good game, a solid game, man. Made some good throws, some good passes. But the moment when it counted the most, Kirk showed who he was. He gave up, folded. You can't be a Super Bowl winning quarterback folding. You think Aaron Rodgers would have did that? Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen. Heavy, man. Joe Barrow, you're an elite quarterback, man. You go for the Dakar, you go for the win. You take a chance, man. You go out fighting. Kirk gave up. I don't like that. I didn't like that, man. Doesn't sit well heavy. Especially the Vikings had came so far, fought so hard, give in like that. The leader of the team, it's no excuses, man. So for me, once again, Kirk is done as a Viking, period. If the Vikings extend him, I will be shocked, man, heavy. Does O'Connell believe in him? Does Quazy believe in him? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It will be tough to right now at this point. But Kirk did it again. I don't believe he earned an extension or deserves one, man. Everyone wants to talk about the regular season. Playoff time, the regular season doesn't matter. Period, man. You need too much with Kirk to win. Conditions have to be too perfect for Kirk to win, man. Perfect O-line. Damn near impossible in that, in that room. In that league. Perfect conditions. Damn near impossible in the NFL. Every team has a weakness. Weaknesses on the team. Up front. On both sides of the ball. It won't be perfect, man. That's why the great ones, the elites, the Hall of Famers, the best quarterbacks in the league, making the big bucks... They improvise. They're field generals. They make things happen. They scramble around, find ways to get the job done when it's not perfect. Kirk doesn't do that. Kirk making the big bucks, 40 million a year man, and he can't improvise, can't make stuff happen, can't scramble around. What is he getting paid so much for? What is he there for? Yeah, he's a good guy, good human being, but we're talking about football on the field play, period, bottom line. We're talking about how does he play on the field? Can he win, man? That's the bottom line, dog. Heavy. That's my take, my opinion on it, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You dig me? Big skull here. Feedback is much appreciated. Heavy. Takes less than one second. Why not, man? Support the channel. Much appreciated once again. I'm on a grind here, man. Dig me? <laughs> Skull, man, forever. Heavy. But ask yourself, can Kirk really take the Vikings there? Is he it? Can he be the guy? I don't think so, man. Not right now. Not after what I've seen. I don't care what excuse you have. No, he's not to blame for the reason the Vikings lost the game. He's not the only reason. But he wasn't the solution to the problem. He didn't fix it. He couldn't pull the Vikings out of a hole. At all, you dig me? You're making 40 mil, that much money? You got to be able to fix the problem sometimes and make shit happen. Heavy. And you definitely don't give up on your team, your fan base, your season, yourself, etc. On 4th and 8th, and you check down? No, man, not having it. Inexcusable. Ain't no way around it, man. It is what it is. Period. Let's get to it, man. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, hit me. Skull like that. Hey.